via PayPal. This is like the second really big one we've had. What is happening? I think people realize they've been watching for 20 years for free. And now, feel guilty. Ah, uh, I'll take it. Thank you again, Lewis, for the support. It's much appreciated. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you. Thank you. Also, thank you, John, for the smell mail monies. It's appreciated. And he all thought the internet was awful. Well, most of it is. But not the people supporting us. So, thank you. Now, for games, we're gonna have to go through this fast as E3, a summer games fest, and a slew of other events puked out a ton of info. Even Netflix had an event. Yeah, um, oddly enough, am I the only one that feels like Netflix is slowly killing anime? Um, I, I will agree. They're making a Splinter Cell anime which doesn't look like anime, and, and they're making a Godzilla series which, you know, doesn't even look that great, and... Sadly, you know, the other things I oh, don't really have an interest in. But, you know, they all have anime styles now. Even though they're not anime, the normies are taking over anime, right? And it's only gonna get worse. And, and honestly, boy, there's, there's just way too much content being released, mate. It's overwhelming. It's everywhere. I will need three lifetimes to get through my watch list. <laughs> yeah, and as much as I'd like to get all geeked out about these announcements, logically and statistically, I just don't have the time to absorb it all. I mean, even movie reviewers, anime reviewers, game reviewers, none of them have the time for all this stuff. There's just too much stuff. So, for those freaking out about there being too much content and, you know, missing out on stuff, just hone in on a couple of things you like and really appreciate it, okay? Personally, the next thing I'm gonna watch is the Comey Can't Communicate anime whenever that comes out, and everything else is kind of a hard pass for me for the most part. Well, I'm still gonna watch the last season of Castlevania. Yeah, and I'll probably take a look at that Cuphead series they're working on. You know, the animation in that game was amazing. So, hopefully the series will be too. Agreed! Cups can look awesome on your head. Yeah. Uh, oh, and Adult Swim finally showed a kind of a teaser for the animated Uzumaki series by Junji Ito, and thankfully, they're keeping the art style of the mangas. Oh, thank Bob, because, oi, the Junji Ito collection w was a bit underwhelming, you know? I mean, it was good, but didn't have that Junji Ito flair about it. Yeah, hopefully they won't mess it up, and unfortunately, it won't be out until, like, 2022. Well, that makes me impatient. Yeah, but for those interested... Look it up, it's worth the watch, and it'll probably at least give you a little hope that the series won't suck. As for games, let's see. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is getting a re-release of sorts called Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, which has some new side stories, upgraded artwork, embedded music player with, you know, new music. That is an excellent visual novel. I mean, it's like one of the best ones. Yeah, it's pretty good. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands uh, is kind of a D&D &D type spinoff of Borderlands. You know, I mean, it looks promising. But they just showed a trailer and no actual gameplay, so I gotta wait until I see more. Catch a ride to Wonderland! The Evil Dead game actually showed some gameplay, which was pretty decent. And that's gonna be an instant buy merely because I want the devs and stuff like that to be supported. You know, because Evil Dead was an awesome movie franchise, an excellent TV series, and they had some pretty decent games back in the day. So, hopefully, it'll get enough support to warrant future releases and continued support for that game. Don't mess it up, devs. And you know, um, Loot River looks kind of interesting, you know? Um, it's like a top-down type thing, but the whole map is a tactical element. So, I, I kind of like seeing some new game mechanics tossed into a mix with, like, you know, your standard type gameplays. So, that looks interesting. You know, that did look interesting. Um, oh, and apparently Smite is joining the let's toss every IP we can get into a blender approach to content as they decided to add Seven from Stranger Things into the game for some reason. Didn't they add Avatar The Last Airbender a bit ago? Yeah. I mean, Smite is not my type of game, so I generally don't care, but it kind of sucks that every IP is getting tossed into every other IP. I mean, eventually every game is going to have every character, be it official or by mods, and then it's like, who cares? I mean, why am I going to play this because Batman's in it? Batman's going to be in everything. Oversaturation! Oh, speaking of games I don't play, 
League of Legends are working on an animated series called League of Legends Arcane. I'm not one for CGI animation and generally feel like it's become very samey over the years, leaving viewers with a homogenized Disney Pixar type template for a multitude of films. Um, but aside from that, CGI tends to feel cheap unless the company puts in the budget and time to make it something a bit more special. And not for nothing, League of Legends did that. Cause yo, the trailer for that series is amazing. Considering it's CGI, it has a very organic, painterly feel, the lighting and textures are great, the facial animations are excellent, movement, direction, it's all done very well. So I will watch that merely for the art style, assuming the rest of the series is done that well. It's done well. And here we thought you hated everything. Yeah, I'm full of surprises. So check that trailer out if you haven't seen it, merely for the artistry, and yes, I know, it's not gonna be for everyone, but I like it. I want Doki Doki Plus! <laughs> um, and, and yo! Amazon! Where's my Danny Elfman album? I pre-ordered that! Yeah, I was gonna ask you how that was, actually. I'm sorry. I'm sure it'll show up. Did I tell you I got my canals rooted? <laughs> you got a root canal. Yes. Oh, all of those are bad. No, it was fun. Especially the grinding twistiness when they pull out the nerve with a tiny little screw. Oh. Hey, new sensations are sometimes the only thing that let you know you're alive. Like when you rip off a toenail and the skin there is all new and shiny and you're like, wow, this feels weird, but new. You are so jank. Thank you. Uh, getting back to games. Rocksmith is doing a subscription model, which I'm not too happy about. And Ubisoft decided to make an avatar game. Oh, tall smurf game. Does anyone really care about that whole avatar universe anymore? Like, I felt that film was more of a way to showcase CGI and, you know, 3D movie tech at the time, you know. Yeah, that's a pass. And Ubisoft, where the hell is Beyond Good and Evil 2? You fools! That is Viperware now, right? It doesn't exist! Ah. <sighs> Xbox tossed out a bunch of footage of new games with Bethesda, including Starfield, Psychonauts 2, Somerville, Halo Infinite, Slime Rancher 2, Forza Horizons 5, which looks amazing, and I hate driving games, and Redfall, a game with vampires. Looks cool. I'd look into it if you like vampires. You know, it was a pretty impressive lineup. I mean, like, they showcased 30 games, with like, I think 27 of them are going to Game Pass on day of release. Yeah, dude, at this point, Game Pass is totally worth a couple of bucks a month. Um, the odd move was, uh, they announced a Halo free-to-play multiplayer, which is like, I guess it's just logical at this point, because most arena shooters are free-to-play anyway. Um, but hopefully with the lineage and sustained support, the free-to-play Halo multiplayer may finally pull people away from Fortnite and maybe push that shooter arena genre forward a little bit. But, eh, we'll see. I think Halo would have to add Batman and other licensable characters for, the, you know, the Fortnite crowd to care. I would love to be in Fortnite. Oh, God. Um, Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life. Is like a Pirates of the Caribbean campaign with Captain Jack Sparrow being added to the game for free. So if you have Game Pass and Sea of Thieves, then why not just play it? Because it's already in Game Pass. That is pretty cool. I like pirates. Oh, and Back for Blood. Back for Blood looks amazing. Because, cause you know, the world needs another Left for Dead. Because those people haven't done anything. Well, they kind of did. They made Back for Blood. Oh, same devs, as far as I know. Oh, all right. And hey, where the hell was PlayStation in all this? They they didn't want to play in, in E3 this year. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of bummed out about that, you know? you know? PlayStation not being at E3, it's like, you know, part of it, it, it was missing, you know? It's empty hole of like, look at what we got, you know? Yeah, I, I'm sure they'll do their own state of play in a month or so once all the E3 hype dies down. I want to talk about Squeenix. <sighs> Square Enix. Yes, they announced a Guardians of the Galaxy game for some reason. But it looks fun. Final Fantasy, like everything we mastered, so that's pixel goodness for your face. Near, near Automata Reincarnation, and, and some mobile game goober goodies I can not for. And, and Platinum Games. The, the, the Babylon's Fall is a game which is like, I don't know what this is. And then, and then there's more Life is Strange thingies, a remaster, and a new game of feeling psychic people's feels. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you know, Life is Strange has always been a pretty good series, you know? Oh, there was also some Final Fantasy origin thing which made me burp a little because chaos. Chaos. Everyone wants to kill chaos. <laughs> I swear, like 50% of their games were tied to Final Fantasy or some Marvel property. 
Yeah, the Guardians of the Galaxy looks fun, though. Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's a sense of humor about it, so that's good. PC gaming show showed off stuff, too, like games, but there's too many to keep track of, so you go look. You go look, and you find, because I mean breakfast cereal. Yeah, there's just way too much to cover, but hey, Sam and Max VR. That's pretty much my walk away for that. Uh, believe it or not, in television is releasing a console uh, of sorts called Amico, which essentially is a couch co-op console for family-friendly stuff. So there's no microtransactions, no loot crates, just simple, fun games that families can play together. You know, it's such an odd move. I mean, boy, if I had kids, I would not want them getting a hold of me credit card and, you know, buying V-Bucks in Fortnite. So, I mean, I guess there's a market for that, you know. Yeah, there's definitely a market for it, you know. So, for those with families who want to avoid all that microtransaction BS, I'd look into it. It'll keep, like, the five and under crowd occupied for a while. Also, old people who have no idea what video games are. <laughs> yeah. Um, Capcom announced some Monster Hunter stuff, Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, I don't like how Monster Hunter is calling friendly monsters monsties. I mean, they're either monsters or, or creatures, beasts, animals, you know, or, or even set up for pets. Companion, maybe. But, but why call them monsties? It's so lame. Yeah, but hey, it's Japan. You gotta make everything cute, right? I don't like the baby speak for spooky things. Monsters are monsters. Yeah, all that is very tiresome. But someone will find it just adorable. Ugh. And speaking of cute crap, Nintendo! Some dude from Tekken will be added to Smash Brothers Super Monkey Ball Collection. Metroid Prime 4 is still in the works. And they announced Metroid Dread, which just seems to be a 2D Metroid, just looking a bit better, but essentially a platformer. Another WarioWare game for some reason, and Shin Megami Tensei 5, which has never been my type of game, but I know people love the series, so there you go. A bunch of Danganronpa games, if that's how it's pronounced, are being released on the Switch, and Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater, gets a port to the Switch. It's been forever since we had a proper Fatal Frame, man. You know, and, and I'm kind of bummed it's just a port of a Wii U game, you know? Yeah, but, you know, hey, it's something. Also, there were some updates on Skyward Sword Remaster and some handheld Zelda game and watch thing, which is, like, I guess for the nostalgic crowd. And, of course, Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel got some new footage, but still won't be released until 2022. Lame, I want it now. Yeah, but, you know, let them work on it. You don't want to rush it, you know? You take your time. You take your time. But, you know, all in all, um, E3 was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's cool to see what's coming out, but disappointing because most of the stuff won't be released for months to years. Y you know what the best part about E3 was? I, I don't know, the anime games? Close. I got another one of Sumo socks. What? People don't own more than one sock. It was sent from Stealthy Claws. So thank you, Stealthy Claws, for another piece of baby metal memorabilia for my collection. But is it actually Sue Metal Sock? Well, I mean, they are very new looking, so I'll assume they are from Sue Metal's baby metal sock surplus collection. So now, I'll have a backup baby metal sleeping bag. I I is this going to be a thing now where our P.O. box is just filled with J-pop socks? Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about it, you know? And, and, and honestly, they're like J-Metal, right? J-Metal. J-Pop is more like Lisa or Sakura Gakun or Chara Pamu Pamu or, or Juicy Secrets Juice or, or Mamoru Clover Z. Or, all right, okay, fine. Stealthy Claws, thank you for the suck. Thank you, and if anyone knows what perfume Sue Metal uses, let me know. Yeah, I'm sure it's some specially marketed baby metal perfume that costs like $90 an ounce. I don't think there's a baby metal perfume. Wait, is that? Like, I don't care. Josie! What? Favorite part about E3? The Outer Worlds 2 trailer. It did not take itself seriously, and more games need that. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands looks like some good fun as well. Agreed. And with that, we really need to get a game started. Come on. Maybe a card battler. I like to battle with cards. You know, like, like the X-Men Gambit. 52 Pickup. Favorite card game. You know, maybe we'll discuss ideas about a game next podcast and really put it out there so those interested in working on something can get together and get this all going because there is no way we're going to be able to do it ourselves. Might be able to do a visual novel, but other than that, it's a daunting task to make a game 
and we're already working like 17 hours a day. Yeah, I'll, I'll say we put it out there, put out the ideas, right, and see what happens, you know. All right, yeah, thanks everyone. We're a bit behind on P.O. Box stuff, but if you sent something, we probably got it, and we'll try to cover it next podcast, assuming it's addressed to us, and not the fat carrot. The fat carrot has to do his own thing. Oi, did you see those Minion Quest web comics that have been popping up on the socials? I never thought I'd see that succubus again. Yeah, but the art style is a little weird. Well, I mean, we look a little weird, don't we? Well, blame Pilsy. Uh, um, Pilsy, hi. Um, w- we're looking weird, mate. Well, hire someone that can draw better, and, and then punch your mom in the face because you're ugly. Begley's mom already looks like she had her face punched. Oi! <laughs> wow. So, yeah, there's just literally too much game news to cover in a short podcast. So, if you're interested in gaming, track down some of the titles we mentioned, search for our list of upcoming releases, and just watch some game trailers. Take a chance, play something new. I just want a remaster of the Legacy of Kane series. So, Reaper. Oh, that would be brilliant! Well, I mean, we got Stubbs the Zombie and Blood Rain remasters. Um, destroy all humans, too. So, it's a possibility. It could happen. An Xbox! Get back to making old games backwards compatible again. Yeah, I need to play me some lollipop chainsaw. And that mediocre Hellboy game. Yeah, and those old Adventure Time games. They were cool. And those old, shut the hell up, because I don't care, games. I I don't think I've ever played that one before. Later, everyone. Thanks for supporting. Do your thing. Be well. Stay safe. I don't know. Eat a cookie or something. We're out. Later. Um. Um.